So we're just going to review the algebra <coughs> special tests. We'll go to where we left off, which was the palpation. Mm. So in order to do palpation, you need to know the anatomy of what's palpating in that area. Okay, so we reviewed all those different structures. Yeah, on the, when you're palpating the lateral side, you have the lateral epicondyle. And then here we have, for reference, you have the acupuncture points, all at 10, 11. Yeah, basically the extensor attachment. Then you have the mobile water 3, which is the breaker radialis, extensor carpal radialis longus and brevis. Then you have the radial collateral and then the annular ligament on that lateral side, so you can palpate. And then if you, if you go to the lateral epicondyle, and you practice this on yourself, right? So then you go a little bit distal. And what you want to do is you want to be right at this junction between the radial head and the lateral epicondyle. And so if you, <coughs> if you pronate and supinate, you can feel that radial head moving here, whereas you, the lateral epicondyle obviously is not going to have, there's not going to be any movement. You feel that little gap in between, and then you can feel the radial head move back and forth. Okay. Then on the medial epicondyle, of course, you have all the attachment of the flexors. You have the cubital tunnel that's going to be here's your medial epicondyle. Then you have that big tunnel right in there. You know, if you tap in there, that's where you get the when you hit your funny bone. All right. Then here we have the cubital fossa. All right. So the borders of the cubital fossa. Please remember our good friend, the brachial radialis. Right. Then you have the pronator teres here. And then this cubital crease, that's basically just that crease where your elbow bends. Okay, so that forms that triangle right there. Okay, and then inside of that, you have the biceps tendon, the brachial artery, and then the median nerve. And then here where it mentions the muscular cutaneous, that's what I was talking about before, where an extension of that nerve is actually the lateral Form, lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm here. Okay. That's a continuation of the muscular cutaneous nerve. And then when you go posteriorly, you have the liquidum process, and then there's the liquidum fossa, which is just above that. When the elbow extends, the fossa is where the liquidum goes into. Okay. And then, of course, what's this tendon here? And then what reflex is that? And then what monotone is when I, go, when I do that? C7. Sooner or later, you're going to get a picture in your head of that. Right? There's big seven. It's wrist flexion, elbow extension, and then elbow flexion, wrist extension, C6, and that's the dermatomic. Okay, so there's your triangle alignment. That's the way it normally should be, and we've seen what it's going to look like when it's. So again, we'll do the range of motion, we'll get out the goniometers and chronometers. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run through these tests real quick and then we'll demonstrate them and then you guys can practice them. So elbow ligamentous instability, you can have valgus and varus. So you can see here basically you're pushing it one way, you're pushing it the other way. All that stuff's written in your notes. And again, remember the as far as the ray, the ulno humeral joint, the loose pack position is, is a little bit is more into flexion. So you can do the ligament stability test like this. You can also do it into full extension. So there's different positions that you can do it in. Now, I'm gonna try to see if these is there supposed to be videos so or try to see if they work. Mm -hmm. I'm Okay, so you can see here on the valgus one, here's valgus, you're moving the distal part of the extremity away from the midline, so that's what valgus is, you're stretching like that. And you can see the hand position, like I say, either, you can either have it 
at the proximal part of the forearm, or sometimes you'll see it where they're actually up into the humerus, and then you're pushing this part of the body away from it. I think this one. Okay, so then that's varus. What I'm stabilizing on the medium. Wait, that just not showing the screen. Right. Okay. Right. So varus is going to be moving towards the midline. Okay, so you're stretching the lateral ligament up here. So you're moving the distal extremity towards the midline, forcing the at the elbow away. So you're stressing the lateral flow. Yeah. And that's on the... So we're on page uh, 84 and getting into 85. slide to change. Percussion, basically at the elbow, again, if you're looking for a fracture, you're going to percuss at the different areas where you might suspect that there's going to be a fracture. You're tapping on whatever could be injured. You might tap on the radial head, tap on the lecronym process. 